playoffs? We're talking about playoffs? We are on this edition of Game Day, sponsored by the Maids of Durham and Chapel Hill, because if your home pleading chores are starting to pile up, you should get the maids to tackle that. All right, Mark Donovan, well, here we are. It is playoff time. A lot of area teams made it. We're starting the Big Eight where Southern, Orange, Cardinal Gibbons, those guys were pretty much locks from the beginning mm -hmm. of the season. Northwood crept in there, but how did Chapel Hill manage to squeeze in after such a tough, dare I say, you know, horrible start at the beginning? Uh, yeah, they, uh, they were a bit of a surprise with only four wins, and they were one of the last teams into the field. Mm -hmm. But they got to fill it out with 64 teams in their classification, so that's where that happened. But uh, I think they also took into account they played in the toughest league, mm -hmm. the toughest 3A league in the state. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, no question. Uh, you know, Nor uh, Southern uh, Orange and Cardinal Gibbons are outstanding teams. Mm -hmm. So is Northwood. So losing to those teams was was absolutely no disgrace to anyone. And, and so interesting how just in the difference of a season, you know, Carborough is, is not around, you know. Yeah, Carborough, uh, they became a one-dimensional team when they lost Trey Sharp, their running back. Mm -hmm. They then had to take their standout wide receiver, Marlon Johnson. They had to move him to running back. He kept getting hurt. Okay. But they basically had no passing game at that point. Uh, Johnson couldn't provide the same kind of quality work at running back as Trey Sharp did. He was mm -hmm. a 2,000-yard-plus rusher, and he's still, he has another year left. Okay. And he's also a major college recruit. All right. And that's the two-way level. Anybody mm -hmm. from their conference uh, that we need to keep on? There's nobody the from that conference, but from the classification, we've got uh, South Granville in uh, the two AA ranks. And they'll be at home uh, Friday night, and they have a they have an outstanding chance to at least win their opening game. They're playing Hertford County, okay. which is six and five team, and uh, South Granville is nine and two. They they have an outstanding back two in Sean Bowman. Okay, what should we need to know? What should we know about the uh, the Pack Six? In the Pack Six, um, Riverside's going to have a really tough game. They're at home against uh, Southview High School from Hope Mills. That's out of the really tough Fayetteville area. Mm -hmm. uh, both teams are are eight and three. Uh, this is in the four AA playoffs, by the way. Okay. Riverside is not in the same playoff grouping as Hillside and third place Orange is. They're in the four single A okay. group. Uh, Riverside ha can win that game, hmm. but it's going to be a battle. That, right. That's a tough team they're playing. There's no walk over there. Uh, in also from the Pack Six, Hillside's going to be a, a heavy favorite at eight and two over Clayton, which is seven and four. Okay. Hillside's a number five seed. Clayton's a number twelve. Hillside's at home. Northern is a huge underdog. Mm. They're three and eight. They're playing at Wilmington, New Hanover. Wilmington, uh, or New Hanover, is eight and three, okay. and has a balanced offense, and is going to really cause problems for Northern. Is that the same deal with them? The way Chapel Hill got in, is, is that how Northern was able to get in? No, Northern was an automatic entry because right. they finished third okay. in the conference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else uh, playoff-wise we need to know about? Uh, yeah, playoff-wise, we've got that uh, the Southern and Orange games. Orange is ho hosting Rocky Mount. Orange is 10-1. and one. Uh, Orange's big concern is going to be that they have given up as many points in the last two games, mm -hmm. 69, as they did in the first nine. They've given up 71. They've given up 140 points in a year, uh, 55 of them against Southern last Friday night, mm -hmm. uh, 28 in the first half against Cardinal Gibbons the week before that. Okay. So is this the best defense in the state that we saw the first nine games, or is this a defense that's basically not playing well? Okay. We will certainly find out, and be sure to check us out at heraldsun.com or in our print edition both Friday and Saturday for complete coverage of all the games in the area. Until next time, I'm John, he's Mark, and this was Game Day.